If you've decided that you can live on the income of 20 rental properties and you want to have them within five years, a five-year plan to have 20 properties could look like this. Year one, if you own the house you live in, buy a new primary residence with a 3% down payment and rent out your current one to tenants. For the best cash flow, consider buying and living in a duplex, triplex, or fourplex because you can have a small down payment and collect rent from the other occupants of your building that pays your mortgage. Then you'll have more money for investing in future properties, and you're only going to be there a few years anyway. So just make a good decision, a good financial decision now. Whether it is a house or a duplex, buy a property that needs work. Do the work while you live there. Once you've done the work, get a cash out refinance loan on it or a line of credit based on the new appraised value. Use that money to buy another rental property that needs work. Do the work. Get a cash out refinance loan on that rental property. Use that cash to buy another property. You're just recycling the same cash over and over. And by the end of year one, you'll own three rental properties plus your new primary residence where you'll live for the next two or three years. Year two, keep looking for properties that meet your criteria. Keep saving money for down payments. Save at least 20% of every paycheck you get. Now, you'll leave, need to live on a lifestyle budget that is significantly less than what you earn. Buy three more rental properties, either through your savings for down payments or doing cash out refinance loans, if the numbers make sense. Another option is a debt partner or equity partner. By the end of year two, you'll own six rental properties plus your primary residence. Year three, some lenders will allow you to have up to 10 conventional Fannie Mae loans. If you've been using Fannie Mae loans this whole time, you can get three more conventional mortgage loans. Keep saving money and buy three more rental properties. Consider buying one of them as your new primary residence, where again, you can buy a house with 3% or 5% as a down payment and keep the old one as a rental. Either way, by the end of year three, you'll own nine rental properties plus your primary residence, and they'll all be on 15 or 30 year fixed rate loans. Year four, at this point, you can't get any more Fannie Mae mortgages You'll need to get approved by a local bank for a portfolio loan to buy multiple properties at once. Many times this is called a commercial loan at the bank, even though it is used to buy residential properties. Use the commercial loan to buy a package of five properties from a retiring landlord. By the end of year four, you'll own 14 rental properties plus your primary residence. Year five, make a plan to buy six more units. You can either buy another package of houses from an investor or buy a duplex and a fourplex to get units 15 through 20. You might be able to get a business line of credit from a local bank or credit union to buy the houses one at a time as you find them if you don't wanna do the package or the duplex and fourplex options. By the end of year five, you'll own 20 units plus your new primary residence. If you can make the profit from the 20 units cover your living expenses, you will be financially free. Financially independent, working because you love it, not because you have to. I'm Heidi Four. I'm a MAPS coach and teacher of the course, Fund Your Big Life with Rental Properties, wishing you the best of luck on your journey towards financial freedom.